Hello and welcome to the Trial Fund on YouTube channel. Welcome to Goodwood Motor Circuit down south where we are doing the Red Bull time lapse. Now this is an event that's 25 hours long. It's basically a crit race that you do in a team of four, but in a relay format. So there's only one of us like riding it each time and it, it's run solely through Strava. So whoever cycles the furthest distance in 25 hours is the winner. And that's gonna be us, we think. Um, there are about 100 teams here, so there's gonna be a fair few people on circuit. The course is, is 2.6 miles long. Uh, people are taking part at home, so you can also do this event in your own local town, or you can do it on a turbo trainer as well. We are in the outdoor uh, classification, which takes into account those who are doing it at home. But really, we're here racing the people that, that are here. So let's meet the team. Uh, we'll start on the right side. Uh, somebody who's probably well versed in riding for a long amount of time. Lee, welcome to the channel. Do you perhaps tell us, oh, I've said what your name is, yeah. uh, a little bit about yourself. So what is your, uh, I don't know, FTP? Yeah, uh, so I tested this last yeah. week. So 361 watts current. Wicked. How much bike racing have you done? Um, so I was actually talking to Matt in the car on the way over about yeah. this and we were looking through my sort of British cycling history. Yeah. <laughs> and I think from the beginning, I've scored 613 points. Okay. Um, so Quite a lot of that is actually Mallory Park, yeah. so I've got quite a uh, bit of experience on motor racing circuits, yeah. so I'm hoping to bring that to this. So, a lot. Yeah, and I don't think I've finished outside the top five at Mallory, so... Wicked. That's all we need. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> Good to see you. Matt, welcome to the channel. Matt, Hello. what is your FTP? This has all been leading up to this, isn't it? It you is. Really <laughs> I've orchestrated this whole day to find out what your threshold is. It's about 352, I think, last time I tested it. Okay, how much bike racing have you done? A fair bit, not as much as Lee, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know, probably done three or four years worth, okay. a few, few races a year. Excellent. Just made my second cat though, so that's pretty good. Pretty Captain Roadie, nice one. James, welcome to the channel. <laughs> what is your FTP? I'm not sure, <laughs> <laughs> but I would imagine about 250 watts. Okay. I would have <laughs> How much bike racing have you done? Uh, like, uh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Brilliant. <laughs> So I'm well prepared. <laughs> okay, uh, well, my name's Daniel, as most of you know. My FTP is about 350 watts, and I've done some bike racing, maybe five or six crits. So we are a team where we've got mixed ability and mixed experience. However, we're definitely all up for it, aren't we? We've got a strategy which we're, I'm going to cover in a later uh, later on in this video. This video is probably going to be three parts. This is part one of three. I'll cover it when the race has started, so we don't tell anybody. But we're going to get all set up. We're in the pit garage here, uh, get all the equipment out, and then we'll uh, yeah show you that. Should have done the introduction up here rather than down there. Uh, <laughs> what do you reckon to being up here? You can see, see right down the start, finish straight. See pretty much over the whole circuit. Yeah, really. absolutely. It's good. It looks pretty good to me. James, what are your thoughts about sighting laps? Uh, you don't need them. Okay. No point in getting wet. <laughs> no. For losers. <laughs> Absolutely right. If we're honest, we thought there were more teams here, but there's about 25 pit garages and there's four or five that are empty. So that could be a potentially a maximum of 20 odd riders on circuit, yeah. which is, I thought there was 100. I didn't imagine there's 100, but maybe, maybe we're missing something. I don't think we are. Anyway, let's go to the safety brief and then we'll get a handle on how many people there are here. So, uh, are you, how are you 50 50 male female? That makes life easier. Um, basically, the situation is if you are. Oh, so I think we're pretty much set up now. This is a pit garage, <laughs> basically just a pile of stuff, pile of food and bikes. And I think we're ready to go out for a sighting lap. So there's a few more teams turned up, looking pretty, pretty busy now. So that's encouraging to see, and also a bit intimidating. But we're going to go have a spin on the track. Here we go then, sighting lap. It's actually a really smooth surface, really good, isn't it, Jason? Yeah, lovely. A bit windy. He's got a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> this event is James all over. Timings, rules, power hours, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly what. <laughs> exactly what you look for. <laughs> so we were just saying how exposed it is. It's really windy now and the weather isn't that windy really. Throughout the night and into tomorrow it's forecast to get up to like 40 mile an hour wind so this is going to be absolutely horrendous. So the wheels that I uh, took the mess out of James were using are probably going to be better than the deep sections that most of us are running. But uh, yeah, we've only got about 10 minutes till Matt starts. He's our first rider off. So, we'll see him there. Here we go then, so Matt's done his very pro looking warp on his rollers in the pit lane, we're good to see. The riders are ready to go. I think we've got two minutes until start time, so come on Matt. Come on Matt. Go on, Matt. <laughs> that 
photographer's living life on the edge, isn't he? So he's just got to hang in there with the front group. No other brief, he's just got to stay at the front. Somebody's already solo breakaway in. Oh, we'll see how that plays out next time. Somebody's gone off the front already. So obviously it's easy on the sidelines, but Lee's got the most racing experience of all of us. You say Matt's a bit too far forward. He's second wheel at the minute, isn't he? He's just coming to the end of the first lap. Get more draft benefit in the bunch. Yeah. He looks Sit in, Matt! Though. He looks comfortable. Yeah. And I'll tell you something, it looks quick, really, yeah. from here. It's hard to gauge because you just go around the track, isn't it? But it does look fast. It's, it's been strung out, isn't it? Yeah. Better position, Matt! Well done! Oh, going on. Yeah. Sorry, I just swore you probably can't. It's okay, Lee, I'll have to bleep you. Sorry. Um, pretty strong out, isn't it? Yeah. So it looks like it might be a bit surgy. Uh, so in terms of strategy, Matt's doing 90 minutes, so an hour and a half first, and then Lee's doing an hour and a half. And then after that, Matt's doing another hour and a half, and then Lee's doing another hour and a half, and then James and I are going to replicate the same thing. So James and I aren't riding until about 8 o'clock tonight or something. Um, but Lee and Matt are taking the first few hours, so this, this should be good. Matt's just got to keep it in a good position. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not, not going to record every single lap, so we're going to go and sit down. All right, so we're about an hour and ten minutes in now, so we're just going to start getting ready for Lee swapping over with Matt. James, how do you think Matt's doing? Yeah, good. He's still with the front group, isn't he? And um, I don't think he's having to work hard to close anything, so mm -hmm. he's doing good, yeah. Good. All right, let's go and see what Lee's doing. Lee, big warm-up, looking very pro. Yeah, I've he got to concentrate a lot on these, though. It's been a while. <laughs> when was your last bunch bike race? Uh, that's a good question. Probably 2016. Wow, okay. I mean, we can count Fast Friday Chain Gangs as a bike race, can't we? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, wicked. Well, you know the drill, mate. Just win it and you'll be fine. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Looking good. So in terms of our strategy, so it's all based on Strava miles, not laps. So Lee's going to go to the end of the pit lane. When Matt comes into the pit lane, Matt's got to stop his Garmin and stop the file, save the file, before Lee starts his. Otherwise, the whole distance for that, that activity is null and void. So Lee's, Lee's, when he sees Matt, he's going to start rolling <clears throat> down the pit lane just gently. Matt's going to come alongside him, do that. Then Lee's going to start his and then make more pace. So you're not actually having a physical stop because every time if you stop, you're losing that momentum, you're losing that time, that distance, and it's all going to add up. So that's the plan. Okay, so we've worked out Matt's going to do three more laps before Lee goes out. So now I'm going to shout to him three laps, Matt, so that he knows he's got three more laps and the next lap, two laps. He might hear me on one of the laps, he might not hear me on any. Hopefully he does, I'm going to shout as loud as I can. Um, just to, so, so he knows, basically. Three laps, Matt! Three laps! Got a thumbs up, thinking he understood that, but next time round, I'll shout two laps, Matt, just to make sure. We're about a minute and a half from Matt coming around now, so Lee is ready. The plan is Lee's going to start rolling when Matt comes into the pits, so Matt can definitely stop his Garmin, tell Lee he stopped it, and then Lee can start his, and then he's already moving at the point he's been pressing go, so we've got zero stopped time. There are some slower time, but we're not having any time stopped. How are you feeling, Lee? Nervous. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. You were really relaxed in the pits. Well, it's just now it's my time, you know, and mm -hmm. Matt's done such a good job. I don't want to let him down. You yeah, know? okay. Do you want to start slowly rolling then? He's coming now, yeah. Just, just ever so slowly, ever so slowly, ever so slowly. Roll up next to Lee. Now that, that was slick. That's good. We've seen teams stopping and then the next person going. You're straight on the back of that group. Nice one. Well done, Matt. Great ride. How was it? All right, it's a bit. Bike. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get on the rollers. I'm just cramping a bit. All right. Um, yeah, it was all right. It was a bit road racy. Yeah. To begin with. Matt. I'm not actually that knackered. It's just I attacked. Try and get Lee a bit of a start. Yeah. So I'll come in off by, I'll bury myself into a headwind. Yeah. And I was still, I think they caught me again by the time yeah. The problem is, when you've got fresh race going in, yeah. like after an hour, yeah. we've got some fresh riders in our group, and there's nothing you can do when they're, yeah. they've just come out. All you can hope to do is like hang on. Yeah. Okay, so Lee's just gone past, and I've shouted him three laps to go, so we've got 15 minutes before he comes in, and Matt goes out. So Matt, an hour and a half break turns into 15 minutes warming down, about 45 minutes to an hour eating and drinking, and 15 minutes warming up, so do you feel rested and recovered? No, I don't. I can't believe I'm doing this. It feels uh, barbaric. Yeah. So the first 90 minutes was what, about 25, 25 and a half miles an hour? Oh my god. 25 and a half miles an hour, wasn't it? Something like that, yeah. yeah. So it's fairly up. 60 something average heart rate for 90 minutes. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, anyway, we'll see where Lee comes in. Hopefully he's in a group. He was in a group a while ago. Might get out with him and then rips it up. Two laps, two laps, Lee. Do some work there, so they must be working together because he won't be sat on the front for no reason. Start rolling, Matt, he's just coming in. Yeah. Ever so slowly. He's just, he's just coming over the speed bump. Riders behind. There we go, Mint. So they slowed down, but they haven't stopped. That's good. Well done. Good ride. I'm not kamikaze though, am I? Was that worth it? Did you, you attack? We, we lost track of what had happened. Well, we were off the front. Wicked. That perfect. With a beard. Good. Perfect. We're the front of the race. Wicked. Yeah. We couldn't leave. We couldn't work out whether you've been dropped from the lead group or you'd no. attacked. Perfect. Do you want a fresh bottle of hydration? Uh, no, I'm fine. Yeah. Um. The. Uh, what happened was, when they changed after I'd been on half an hour, yeah. they all come in the pits and I just, like, because they jumped off the front right, yeah. and I went with them because there was yeah. a group of four, yeah. but then three of them come in the pits and I yeah. was on my own. Yeah. And then I thought, I'll sit out here, and then the guy with the beard called me up and said, Yeah, perfect. That's good, though, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. You're, you're, you were head up. Right? Yeah. Dead. If you can dig me out of a Yazoo or a yeah, yeah. Goodness Shakes or something like that. Wicked, well done. 25 there we go. Point two mile an hour average. <laughs> on a roadie in the wind. Yeah. Nice one. Um, what sort of power do you have to do? Uh, 286 normal. Okay. Right. Do you feel okay though? Yeah, fine, yeah. Good. I feel really good actually. Yes. I could have pushed more, but yeah. I thought, you know. You've got a long way ahead. I was doing some big turns. Yeah, there. so. Oh, don't forget, so you've got another 90 minutes. I, I thought about minutes. trying to sort of get across to more people. Mm. Think, I don't think there is that many, there's not that many other groups. Right. There's nothing to really close oh, down There's nowhere to. to get to. Yeah. You'd be catching up one person. Yeah. Mm. That's lovely, thanks, James. Wicked. Solid nice. ride, mate. Well done. <laughs> James, no, no pressure on us, is there? No. <laughs> well, at least sorted it, have not he? Yeah. So. He has, you're right. <laughs> Feeling good? Feeling good. Stop, Jack. Go, go, go. Go on, Lee, what up? My lord, machine. <laughs> How was that, Matt? It was really hard, mate. Was it? I was cramping up really badly. Right. Um, but I quite a lot of salt on you. Played it quite well. I mean, I ran out of water for an hour, but... Blimey. Um, I was saying to James, I think I was behind from the se session before when I only had 500 mil for an hour and a half. Right. Harder racing. Okay. So, uh, but it worked well, we got in some good groups. Yeah. And uh, out the pits, I got onto the group that Lee was working yeah. on, and then we swept some others up. Yeah. And then that, that was a really strong group that I yeah. left Lee in. Yeah. So. so the team next to us here, that there at the front as well. They said there's four teams. When they all came out together, four teams at the front. But I think the difference is, is that we're making the use of this pit lane recording wise, yeah. and they're perhaps not, so we might be together. But I think we might be ahead of them on miles because at the last split, we were like half a mile up on Bath. I think as well. As far as I can work out, everybody else has been burning through riders. Yeah, well, they've done two hour turns. Yeah, so I don't think they have, but all the riders, all the teams have. Is that Bath? Portsmouth was, I reckon they was in the league when I was talking to him. Uh, and, and they were doing 90 minute stints. Yeah. Yeah. But they might have gone. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yes, okay. Solid ride by Matt, staying that front group. And he's always cramping up quite bad. He's actually got quite a bad cold, so he's been a bit under the weather this week, so he's not in top form. But anyway, uh, we were talking to some people, and it looks like the first four riders are in that lead group. However, as I was talking about earlier, the changeovers, we're pretty sure that we've gained a bit of distance on other teams in the changeover area. So, like in that changeover you just saw, you know. Matt comes in and Lee start, goes off and starts his computer right where Matt was. All the teams are coming in and one person's saying, yep, yeah, finished, and the next person's at the other end of the pit lane. And they're going out and starting then, so they're losing a couple of hundred metres. So we might be with the teams, but we're actually a little bit ahead distance-wise, is what we're hoping. Um, however, James is next up from Lee, and as I just saw Lee sprinting out, and he said he did like a thousand watts for 10 seconds to try and get back on the group, James hasn't got that power, and neither have I. So for the next turn, James is going to start at the end of the pit lane. So when Lee comes in, he's going to shout, I'm going to be halfway down, he's going to shout, yes, Dawn, I've stopped my uh, Wahoo, 
So then James can set off and James is going to come out with the group or even just slightly in front of. So there's no risk that he's going to miss the group unless they all attack him and try and drop him, which might happen. It is a bike race, isn't it? Um, so we'll see. But that is the plan, to be honest. Um, I think I might just roll this video as one here. We're just closing out the day. It is now dark. Next up is James Simpson. No pressure, James, but we are in the lead. So long way that continue. Yeah. Are you feeling excited? Or yeah, I'm feeling very excited. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. Good. Let's do it. Big night ahead. Going to be the night shift where the weather is set to turn really windy, really cold and rainy. So it's going to be quite horrendous. But um, Screwdriver James has volunteered to do the whole night for us. No problem. Yeah. Matt, how's your recovery going? Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Some noodle. Popping up with a loaf of bread. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag nutrition. Um, we have just seen Lee attack the group out of, out of the group that he was in. So goodness knows what happened there. You join me just as we're starting the night shift. It is, say night shift, it's quarter to seven at night, so it's not very late, but we are just starting our night routine. So Lee Tonycliffe is still out on course. He's got about 10, 12 minutes left. He's doing two more laps. The heavens are just absolutely open about five minutes ago, so the surface is really wet. It absolutely threw it down. Uh, Lee didn't stop or anything. He just still kept going. He's quite close to the end of his turn. Lee's then handing over to Triple Brutal James, who's going to do an hour and a half, and then to myself, who's going to do an hour and a half. So it's going to be half past eight before I even get on my bike, and this event starts started at one o'clock today so our whole strategy has centered around being stronger later on so we've done longer turns at the beginning and cycled through Matt and Lee a couple of times so that James and I are fresher later on and then in turn Matt and Lee are getting a, a solid five to six hour break now where they can go and get a, you know, a couple of hours sleep and a proper meal and shower and stuff like that so then they come back a little bit more refreshed as well we've also got the power out to contend within the night so this race is it's a 25 hour race in which we're trying to cycle as far as we can at Goodwood Motor Circuit obviously against other people as well um, in the power hour which is when the clocks go back so from 2am to 1am then 1 to 2 the one, the second 1am to 2am is the power hour and they double the distances that you ride during that time so therefore we're going to have have fresh legs on that uh, on that hour and then hopefully that hour is going to be full out so uh, Lee Tonycliffe has volunteered for that hour he's in great form great rider good experience so uh, and he's also going to be just coming off the back of a, of a sleep and a rest as well so that's the plan but for the time being we're just going to um, get James out hopefully get him in the same group that Lee is currently in and to make some progress we are actually don't want to get too excited but we are in the lead group so we are neck and neck with the top four teams so us being one of them top three would be incredible but there's so far to go we're what six hours into this race and it's 25 hours so the race hasn't really started the weather's going to get bad in the night and in the morning 40 mile an hour winds hail and rain so this is going to get good going to get tough and uh, yeah so we'll see uh, when lee comes in get james out and then uh, i'm up next all right james just getting ready for his turn james your whole wardrobe has changed since i last saw you what, what's happened uh, there was some sort of horrendous uh, rainstorm yeah. Um, which seems to be clearing up now, but it was absolutely crazy yeah. and mega windy for about a minute. Wow, I was in the toilet for the whole time. So it means that the surface is wet and although it might not rain again, the surface is going to be wet all night now, isn't it? It's not going to dry out. You've had the easy bit. We're racing the rain. <laughs> yeah, now. Totally, totally. I felt easy. <laughs> Come on, James. So Lee is currently with two other riders. We're handing over to Triple Brutal James. Now, Triple Brutal James does not have a 1000 watt sprint, so he can't jump back onto a group if he's lost 50 or 100 meters during the changeover so he's starting at the far end of the pit lane when lee comes here lee's going to shout and tell me that he's stopped his garmin so save the file i'm then going to shout james and james knows that he's then going to press start and go um and that way james will then hopefully be on the group or in front of the group because lee's going to be here the group will be over the pit lane on the road and james will be about 100 meters or so down there it doesn't mean we lose a bit of distance because of course this time in between we're not recording the distance for but james will be in the same group that has recorded the distance for because they're going down the pit straight but he'd lose more time and more distance if he didn't get on the group so that's the decision we've made i think it's the right decision we've capitalized on making the most of this pit lane in other changeovers where other teams haven't at all so it's just what we're gonna have to do and do you know what when it comes to my turn I might do a similar thing, or I might be halfway down the pit lane because, again, I don't have that 1,000 watt sprint. Anyway, let's see how good I am at shouting, James. Lee? Can you stop, Lee? Yes, James! James! Yes, yes, James! Great shouting. Great shouting. Good ride, mate. <sighs> okay, ready? Oh, my God. What do you want? Someone came out fresh and just did the last lap at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come in. Lucky James. <laughs> Would you like to stay up? Yeah, but only just and it was horrible. 
<laughs> oh my god. So there were, there were a couple of teams that changed just before you, weren't they? Oh. What was it like up until that point? Oh. Just felt a lot harder than last time. Oh my god. How was your second? Oh, I was full body crap, mate. I was I saw about 45 minutes I thought I was going to stop. What do you want? Are you cold? Hungry? Thirsty? What do you have got any like cake or anything like that? Just have that as some at Scubby up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and the weather as well. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, I went to get changed. I came back. I was like, why is it so wet everywhere? And James has absolutely thrown it down. Yeah, I was in the van at the time. Do you remember when we thought this was just going to be like a tempo endurance race? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we sold it to each other, wasn't it? <laughs> There's some strong riders out there. Yeah. It's a little way off for me yet, but I just thought I'd show you the sleeping arrangements whilst we've got access to them. Uh, this is the back of Matt's van. This is his put-up bed where I'll be resting my head for hopefully a couple of hours later on. And then James is uh, very lucky, got a VW camper van. So inside of there, he's got a proper put-up bed, like a, a sort of fold-out bed, like he's converted the inside to be like a proper camper van. So that's excellent. Really grateful to these guys bringing these vehicles. Like we wouldn't be able to do this without that. I've got an estate car. Lee's got an estate car. Like we'd be all right, but it's not. It's not as good as this. So that's excellent. Uh, Lee and James, oh, sorry, Lee and James, Lee and Matt are going to get their heads down for a couple of hours soon. James and I are obviously alternating riding for a bit, and then they're getting back up for middle of the night. Sounds good, sounds normal. Let's get back to it. I've got about 40 minutes till I'm getting on. So, James is doing a great job, tucked in a bunch, doing some work on the front as well. Looks like he's riding really well. It's not actually raining at the minute, and it's not too cold, so I'm hoping this is going to be quite enjoyable. Obviously, I haven't raced on this circuit in the daylight, so this will be interesting going out for the first time in the dark. However, I'm going to give it a good go. I've probably got 10 minutes now, so I've got my kit on underneath. Just going to strip off, get on my bike. Now, I can't ride rollers <laughs> because I literally can't do it. So, I've just been for a little jog around just to sort of wake my legs up a little bit. I figure it. Basically, I saw Alistair and Johnny Brownlee doing that before Leeds a couple of years ago, so I thought, well, if they can do it, I can do it. So, a little jog just to warm up, and I'm gonna get on the bike for 90 minutes of hopefully not too painful pain, but good hard ride. Okay, my first turn done and dusted. Um, bit of a ride of different parts, to be honest. So, when I went out, I had to chase back onto the group that, that James had come out of. Uh, took about, about a minute or so of like real hard effort, got onto the back of the group, and I sat in the group for two laps, so that's about 10 12 minutes just to regather myself just just to work out how hard these people are going it's probably six or seven people in the group and it was quite easy so i thought i'll have a little dig and see if anybody comes with me i attacked and nobody came with me so i thought well i'm just going to itt it then like you know what else can you do um i was thinking well i've got about an hour and a quarter left i kept looking behind me i was putting some significant distance into it. i thought if i can get around and lap these guys and get back in the group and get james back out with that group perfect made a lap um, but I kept, pre kept pressing, about 40 minutes of like solo work. I tend to sit between like 300 and 320 watts. And then three riders like scooped me up. They came from behind. I didn't even see them coming really, and not until about 10 meters away. And I got in that group and worked with them. And that was a good tempo. It, it was relatively easy. Obviously, the, they've probably done turns earlier in the day. Of course, I'm fresh out. Uh, so it's relatively easy-ish, but I put a decent turns in on the front end. It was probably a low tempo to sit in the group. And on the last lap, so James is counting me down from the, on the pit wall, saying, you know, three to go, two to go, one to go. And I want to go about halfway around. I just, the, the strongest guy in the group from what I could gather, I waited till he just took a turn and then just attacked just to try and get a gap so that when I come into the pits, James can get out and not stress about trying to get in the group. Um, and one person came with me, but I put a bit, a bit of a gap into the rest of the group. So he went out and he's now in a fairly big group, which is looking good. And we don't need to go out and keep putting distance into other teams it's looking like we're very competitive and we're very close to the front so if james can just stay in the front group or in the group that he's in that's brilliant because later on in the night and the day tomorrow we might struggle to do that so um, yeah good i'm happy with my ride happy with james's james is also going to hand over to me again now i'm going to do another hour and a half and then i've got about four or five hours break so this if i can do another ride the same as that that'd be very brilliant and i've got probably four or five hours to get my head down a little bit so i'm just going to try and eat and drink a little bit keep warm i've got literally got about five layers on it it's freezing so we're just trying to not get too cold and about 2 3 a.m it's going to start absolutely throwing it down according to the forecast so stay tuned for that second stint done man it's just hard it's just damn hard so i had about half an hour on my own just solo effort which was all right but it's just hard to motivate yourself to push hard as well as actually going hard and then a strong group came past me and i hung on to them and worked with them for the remaining hour or so but that was so hard and surgy to hang on to and um, coming into the pit straight i was trying to get my good position by being at the front of this group but there was no way i was getting away from them so lee how's your night's sleep been 
<laughs> sort of non-existent, but I enjoyed laying down and closing my eyes for a while. <laughs> yeah. You had a nice shower as well, didn't you? Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So we've got about three and a half to four hours ish before James and I needed again. Um, so I'm going to go have a quick shower, two hours or so, lying down in the back of Matt's van, and then we'll go, go and do it some more. And Lee, what's the chance of rain at 6 a.m.? 100%. Look for the positives. I can't find any in that, but we are going to smash it. Do, we're doing well. Yeah, it's, just, if, if there is a positive, just think it's probably not you at 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. What am I doing? Five, I'll do five till six. Oh, right. <laughs> Great. You can lead James into the rain. Yeah, exactly. All right, anyway, bedtime, night night. Okay, so I've had a couple of hours of, I don't know if you can call it sleep, but a couple of hours in Matt's van, so that was pleasant. Um, and now you have to wrench yourself from your bed and try and get your head around the fact you're going to go and do a bike ride, but not just a bike ride, you're going to be racing what's essentially a crit. But anyway, uh, in the meantime, Matt and Lee have obviously been hard at work, so chaps, how was the night shift? You've, you've each done two one-hour shifts each, including Lee doing the power hour. Yeah. I mean, I was apprehensive about the power hour, but I think, to be honest, it didn't really involve that much power. Right, because <laughs> um, you're in a group. Yeah, and I think, do you know what, everyone's feeling it now, and I think yeah. the pace has dropped a bit, yeah. and because I'm like super endurance, solo 24 hour yeah. <laughs> veteran, I'm, uh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm capitalizing on that experience. I yeah, think. okay, good. Matt, how are your rides? Good. Uh, the wind's really got up, yeah. so it's quite uh, important to get a, get a good wheel and try and stay in a groove. Yeah. Uh, but mostly on both my rides. Yeah. Um, and he was pretty tough over the wind. I think I felt better though, really. It feels like other people are slowing down more than me. Yeah. Which is at least sort of the same sort of thing. Yeah. Right? That's the stamina and endurance is paying off. Yeah. Well, I mean, our strategy of saving people till later on is probably a part of that as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I know I'm on, on my first turn, I was passing loads of people thinking what on earth's gone off but they're probably people who have ridden two or three times already so um yeah wicked all right so james is currently out and I, as in your van i was thinking i can't even hear any rain brilliant it's under a cover isn't it but it's not yeah. actually it's not actually raining yet no, so um it is pretty dry it's windy yeah so i'm gonna it's not even that cold really is it once you're out there no it's cold it's cold Wicked. Right. So still dry weather gear. I'm gonna still gonna put a profeto on I think just yeah, in the face. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um and yeah, so I've got about half an hour before James will chop it for me. <laughs> just done my turn. I cannot explain how biblical the weather is. Heaven's absolutely open, it's blowing a gale, it is well tough out there. But if there's anybody that can suffer, it's James Simpson, that's who I've just handed over to. I was on my own for the 95% of that hour. There's not many people out, there's not many bikes out, so it's motivational just to keep moving because you don't know who's not making any progress. So just keeping somebody on the road to keep them going is, is all I can do. I've got about 45 minutes now before I need to go again. I need to do a full change because it's just, I'm soaking wet through and it's freezing. Oh man, this is, this is tough. Right, here we go. It's not my last hour, but I feel like it is because I've got a three hour break after this one. James has just gone past, so he's got one lap to go. I'll shout out to him. I mean, I don't think you can see the rain against those lights, but the sun is just about coming up, so you can see where you're going now. A bit of morale. Um, I've treated myself to some fresh shoes and some proper overshoes. Full change, so I feel quite warm and dry, but that will change within 10 minutes of being outside. But just starting off, fresh, feeling good. Should be all right. Um, I've had malt loaf, I'll have between now and then. Malt loaf, some cliff blocks. I'm gonna nail some cliff blocks in the gel now. I've just not been feeling great and I need to just get some energy into me. I've got some full steam nutrition. I'm just gonna put some chain lube on my chain because it was a bit noisy. Uh, thanks, Nick and Oddie Chains, as per normal. Uh, but unfortunately, the weather has uh, washed the wax off. It's a bit noisy, but that's what happens. Anyway, uh, let's get ready and uh, get cracking. So I'll see you after this turn. Oh, I've just finished my second turn. My God, innovation, the team that are just ahead of us. Their, their rider, Chris Lowe, came past me and I hung on for dear life. And then he came in a lap earlier, so I got the hammer down to put a gap in between so Matt could get out just ahead of him. Oh, what a ride. James, how were your rides? <laughs> in the night, it was a bit uh, I, biblical. Yes, I used the word biblical. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping that you would back me up with that. Yeah, um, <laughs> the, the, the wind was insanely strong yeah. and mega gusty as well, so it was really difficult to predict yeah. when, um, and then the rain, which, didn't bother me but the rain was incredibly heavy yeah. uh, standing water everywhere yeah uh, yeah you pulled me five minutes early on my turn and it made a world of difference yeah. i was just dropping and dropping and dropping yeah. so thanks yeah no, no problem oh, good work now so matt's out now and then lee's doing an hour and then i'm back on the you're back on the then i've got one more hour and then there's 
an hour at the end that is up for grabs. Um, people are fighting over it, so <laughs> I think we'll see what happens. But it could even be that we split that into two half an hours, three 20 minutes, whatever, just to get it done. We just need to keep on the roll, keep rolling. Uh, we're pretty secure in second place, we think. Um, but first place is about a mile and a half up the road, so anything can happen in about, what, about four or five hours to go. <gasps> so Matt's on course now and he's in a group, so we really, really don't want Lee to miss the group because this way, is i'm going to say at least 25 30 mile an hour headwind isn't it it is but well, i don't know what i can show you maybe the flags it's, 50 mile an hour. it's forecast isn't it yeah, yeah. Um, so 50 mile an hour wind is it let's yeah. call it 60. Ugh, i can't stand up anyway so matt's going to come down there and i'm going to stand halfway between matt will shout stopped i'll shout till he go and then lee can hopefully get out, out of here and back on that group without exerting too much energy because you've got this hour left and then maybe an hour at the end so Either your mat or splitting it, so we're gonna have to play that on by ear. Although it's not raining, is it? What? It's not raining. No, big bus boy, not raining. That's because I put my waterproof jacket. <laughs> yes, it is. But over there looks uh, fairly ominous. What an event! What an absolutely crackers event! Yes, Lee. Good work, man. Well done. So that's the group we want Lee in, and as you can see, he's all the way up there. That's perfect. Again, we lose a bit of recording in this pit lane, but that's fine. He'll be a lot better in that group. I expect you know, but <laughs> yeah. it's just like being in the face all the time. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, it was worse when we were out. Yeah, it was. Always is. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't have gone any harder than that. There's no point riding on my own. No, of course not. And they were strong guys. Yeah. Yes. Strong guys there. Yeah. And I was telling them as I came in. Yeah. Yeah. So you know when I came in, the guy I was with, we innovation changed the lap before, didn't it? So I, I put the hammer down the last lap and I said, if I work this last lap, will you work with my mates? I'm fucking now. Uh, okay. Yes. So I don't know if you got him within first or not. But. I ended up. I don't think I got with him though. Oh. <laughs> I waited for two to catch me up. Right. It had just come out of the pitch. Oh, uh, okay. All right. We weren't far ahead because. Yeah. <laughs> that banner was coming down, yeah. and the elders up around the back of the circuit yeah. to give them time to clear it, and yeah. they weren't there. Mm, okay. Um, how are you feeling physically? Um, all right. It's just I can do what I can do now. It's yes. Not, okay. Uh, I'm not falling apart. Yeah. I'm just 300 watts is a bit of an effort now. Yeah. So Lee was saying, if he can stay in that group and it's not too hard, he might do a little bit more, so 10, 15 minutes extra, yeah. because then it gives us the option to either have James do less, <laughs> or it chips into that last hour, so we've only got 45 minutes to cover rather than an hour, yeah. sort of thing. But he said we'll, we'll, we'll play it by you. Yes, it was a bit windy. <laughs> it was a little bit, yeah. I was sprinting to get into the pit lane, and I was hardly moving. Well, you know, yeah. you've endured. I was well, it was yes, windy last but, time. Uh, well, I think that me and Dan had the worst of it until I've just been having a shit and then it sounded much worse. <laughs> I don't know what that was that like. Was it rather or was it? Yeah, Did it was you not hear? It? it was really bad. Oh, I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great, great uh, kind of side. Right. Did it go all right? I think as well as it could have been. I ended up, I got with a quite a strong group. They were probably one, that's an Ello guy. Was it, that's it? an innovation. Yeah. Uh, they're about eight miles ahead of us. And a St. Piran guy. I mean, there was no way I was going to attack that Savella guy. Mm. I was just pr praying for the wind to slow him down. Because mm. on yeah. the back back straight there, I was, yeah. we were doing 30 plus. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll just say, Lee said, if you can sit in the group and feel all right, you might do a bit more, which gives us the option <coughs> to either you do a bit less or it chips into the last hour. So there's only 45 minutes or so to cover rather than an hour. But he's going to play it by ear. Yeah. How are you feeling, Luke? Um, I, I feel fine, but I don't imagine that I'm going to be very quick. Mm. That's me. But yeah. I know nobody is. No. But it's just I've noticed that if you're a, like a, a, a stronger cyclist, it affects you less, doesn't it? Yeah. You're a bit like going up the hill affects me less, isn't it? You know, yeah. if it's like a. Yeah. We did nearly get killed by that. Well, it's all about having a few people to win, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You see people out on their own and they're only moving. The, the main problem I have is that virtually everybody, so I'm not catching anybody. If I catch somebody, they're dramatically slower yeah. than me. So the people that catch me up are quicker than me. So when they go on the front, they actually have trouble keeping their wheel. Do you know what I mean? 
especially with such a strong tailwind, you're yes. not really getting any draft advantage. No. And it's only in this bit. It's really hard out the back yeah. with some, someone pulling on yeah. the front. What I was doing uh, when I had my successful turn, the one before last one, is I was doing all of the, I was doing yeah. a big turn yeah. all the yeah. way around but the back sometimes straight. sometimes going on the front means you can just make it not yeah, crazy yeah, hard, exactly. doesn't it? Yeah. And then what I was doing is tucking in on the headwind. Yeah. Right. right, just look at this. <laughs> What on I've never seen somebody work so hard for about 10 miles an hour. Absolutely incredible. This weather is unreal. You can see how fast the, the rain's being blown across. Everything's getting blown away, all the tents and everything. We nearly got wiped out by a Red Bull gazebo a minute ago. Man, this is absolute carnage. Come on, Lee, good work, buddy. So Lee's supposed to come in, in this lap, but we've just seen him sailing past the pit lane and the back of a camera car with the boot up. He's right, like, in the boot of the car. Perfect. Brilliant. Straight into the headwind section. There were two riders behind Lee as well. Last time That's I seen him in boot of the car, it was in, it was in France under very different circumstances. <laughs> you know what? I was, th I was thinking about telling this story this weekend. I think we stayed in front of the video. This is probably a long one, but let's, let's reconvene about that one. All right, so this is getting pretty complex so james has gone out and he went out with a group but he's been dropped by the group it's a fast group you know it, it was likely to happen james admittedly is not 85 kilos 350 watt ftp whatever is he he's a, he's a smaller chap so the group's dropped him he's working hard we're trying to work out we tried to work out initially if it was worthwhile getting him in straight away one of us going out chasing back onto the group and sitting with the group it's not going to be Lee because he's just come in. It's not going to matter really because we need him at the end. So it was going to be me. I'm up next anyway. We're just working out now how much the, uh, the group is putting into James each time round with a view to pulling James in before the group catch him. So I can go out, not go too hard, wait for the group to catch me and then work in the group. We think that's the fastest way to do it. We're just trying to shout James to give him a rough idea of how long he's going to be riding left, uh, you know, left to ride. But it's hard to gauge because you're only, only seeing her once every seven or eight minutes. So we've got to work out how much they're eating into him. But um, he's working, he's working damn hard. You can see that, so you can't knock him at all. Uh, it's just one of those things. I'd love to say I'd jump on and bridge back up, but he's <laughs> not getting all right. And then, of course, these guys. If I'm coming forward, these guys have got more to do at the end. So we're just thinking about that as well. So we'll see. Lee's just dropped in that his most recent hour out on the track, he averaged 270 watts. So Matthew very tactfully said, based on that, Lee. Don't you think you should start the final hour? I don't think you'd even finish the sentence before I made that suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, can't, you can't argue with numbers, can you? Brilliant, no idea. Anyway, James is probably going to come in in two or three laps and then I'm going to hopefully try and get in that group and pedal on that. James, how was your last turn then? Uh, tough, very, very tough. Um, crazy headwind, uh, got dropped off the group that I'd like to have stopped with but they were just going too fast so then I was on the own for a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, but average a decent speed yeah. uh, but I absolutely had to empty you, myself. You were flogging yourself and yeah. we appreciate it. I can always tell uh, when I'm working hard because my mouth is connected to my top tube by spit <laughs> and they were like trails yeah. of spit stuck yeah. to every part of the bike. So. Got it, well well done. So we've Thank only got, uh, I've just done my effort, uh, an hour or so, just at a tempo, as hard as I could go on my own for 99% of it. A couple of the, go on Lee! Yes. Uh, on my own for most of it. So we've now got about an hour left in total. Lee's going out, Matt, what's the plan? Lee's doing... Well, Lee's going to see how much he can do, basically. Right. I'm supposed to be like yeah. riding. Yeah, I can't, I'm open I can't help but notice that you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Dale will be happy. Yeah. Okay, so if he shouts saying, He's coming Hopefully in or something. Hopefully he'll give a couple of laps warning. Yeah. Yeah, he said basically... Should we go, well, and, sit should we go and sit in the van? <laughs> yeah. He was planning on being in a group, and he was saying if yeah. he feels like he can't hang on to the group, he'll suck me in. Yeah. But he's on his own now, that's so something. anything could happen. Yeah, yeah. That sounds a caution. If Lee can't sit in a group, he's going to send Matt out to sit in it. trying to say? Come on, just... <laughs> Okay, good. All right, we're nearly there. Don't know about results yet. They'll be confirmed about 45 minutes after, after well the done, event. Mate. Well done to you. James got called up on Wednesday night this week <laughs> to come and do this event because we lost a team member. So, uh, James, nice one. Thanks very much. Cheers. Half an hour to go. I'm just destroying this uh, vegan burger, which looks excellent. How's Lee getting on? His bottom lip is hanging out, which I think means he's working really hard. <laughs> <laughs> but they are flying, he's in a team, a group of three and at least one of the ones is a good strong rider, so... Wicked. Do you think it's likely that it'll carry on to the end though? He hasn't given me any signal yet, I'm ready to go, but he hasn't, he hasn't said anything. Okay. 
So basically, if Lee thinks he's going to get a drop from a group, he's going to shout, then Matt's going to come and swap over to hopefully then stay in the group. He's in no danger of getting dropped from that group. Oh, okay. Right. Half an hour to go. Come on. Lee! Really? Wait, Lee. Come on, Lee. Push, push, push. What a monster. Do you remember when, do you remember when we beat him at Matt Lock 10? Once. Uh, no, you weren't riding that one. I beat him. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that is getting cut out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you beast! Don't Go forget on. to stop Go it! On, Don't forget to stop it! Stop you going! He's got to stop his stop wahoo. Stop Inside of 1 o'clock. It's 12.59. Otherwise, you'll lose the whole ride. He's still pedalling. Oh, I can't watch. <laughs> Did you carry it on? Because it was shouting to stop your car. Yeah, there, but to everybody after him. Lee's just done a whole extra lap warm down just so he can go through the finish with his arms in the air. I think we've done well. I'm not going to say it until we see the results. I think we've done all right. That was incredible. Lee, Lee, what a machine. You're a legend, mate. That was brilliant. Honestly, brilliant. 25 and a half average. <laughs> uh, 22 and a half, sorry. 22 and a half. <laughs> Bloody hell, 25 yeah. and a half in that note. Blimey, you're absolutely flying. You got two guys in you drop one of them. It's off your wheel. Yeah. Uh, Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Well done. Well, thanks for not making me ride it. <laughs> well, not, there weren't really any needs. I felt okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's not nothing against your tactics, but I just felt all right. But mine is oh, yeah. far superior. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of my last two and you weren't either. <laughs> You know, I'm just a sociable guy, you know, I get chatting with people. I say, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, you know. Have you, have you uploaded yet? Right, so apparently there's no actual prize given or anything. However, we are second at Goodwood. Incredible. You'll notice I say at Goodwood. Two teams did beat us based wherever in the UK. One team did a horrendous amount of mileage, like 660 or something. Obviously, if you're out on the open roads, you can use the tailwind to advantage, do straight line routes, whatever. Anyway, second team here. That is an awesome result, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and everybody's done you know so well. James gritting through the through the rain. Matt and Lee pulling massive shifts in the, in, in the early days when it was hot. We've all done great. And do you know what? We're just a team of amateurs. Two triathletes, two bike riders, what a result. There's some, there's like a St. Piran rider, there's a few like elite road riders, aren't there? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely wicked result. Just through consistency, good strategy, and working damn hard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. Really cool event. Um, loads of light photographers on course, loads of uh, marshals, uh, good ones feels really safe to ride on, doesn't it? Yeah. On the race circuit. Probably circuit, yeah. Pit setup works great. Really, really do recommend we it. We could so. have done without the 50 mile an hour wind, <laughs> yeah. apart from that. Exactly, it just made it a bit more interesting. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you very soon.